Hey, my people. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can stay up to date of what we have coming at you. So today we are working on some acrylic kawaii nails in purple, of course. So let's get to it. Nails are already prepped, glued on and done. Now we're working with some glam and glitz, glitter, acrylic, and jaunty. I just love, this is one of my favorite acrylics. Um, and glam and glitz, I love their brand because they have some beautiful glittery colors and it gives you enough time to actually work with it. And I'm using Young Nails Monomer. So I'm going to go ahead and just pat this on. I usually like to pat instead of pull too much. Um, once I got it mostly in place, pat it, then I'll pull out the bottom part mostly. But I find patting it helps so that my brush doesn't get all gucky and nasty. So then once, you know, I get to the end, then I'll go ahead and pull it out. And if other people start other ways. I usually start in the middle and then work my way to the end of the nail, and then I'll do the cuticle area. And I know, you know, in school or whatnot, well, my school didn't, but a lot of schools teach the three bead method or whatever. Listen, however many beads you need to do the job, do the job. I wouldn't worry myself with how many beads you have to use. You know what I'm saying? That's just putting pressure on yourself that you really don't need. Just get the job done. And I do try to make it as smooth as possible when I'm laying down the acrylic. Um, I'm not always successful in that. I'm still trying to work on that. But, you know, it's something that comes with practice. But usually, I can get it pretty smooth. So, I don't have to do too much filing, which I hate filing, y'all. If I could hire somebody to do filing for me, I would be a happy person, okay? <laughs> but I would let you guys just go ahead and watch me go ahead and apply this acrylic. And here we come in with the cuticle bead. I try to place it not right up against the cuticle, but close to it, and then kind of push it gently into the cuticle area so that you don't flood it. On the second nail here, I want to do kind of an ombre effect with the jaw tee at the end of the nail and um, this purple glam glitz color that I use named Vamp, which is it's like a purple and blue speckly color. You'll see it is really, really nice. So I'm trying to pull down the jaw tee so I can make the other color fade up into it. So I'll probably just push some of that down into the nail to where I can blend the ombre up into it. And then I'm just dragging up the rest of it to cover the rest of the nail. I think I might need another bead. I don't want to make this jaunty color too thick because I kind of want it to be a little transparent kind of like not extremely but just a little bit where you know you can see the light and so on through it. Moving 
on to the next nail. Try to give the other nail some time to dry. All right, now we can move on to our next color, which is the Vamp from Glam and Glitz. You gotta look at this. Oh my gosh, right? That is so pretty. I always mix it up because it's so uh, glitter, so much glitter in there. I wanna make sure I get all of it in. So we mix that up. that one right up against the cuticle. Look at that color. With this one too, it's a lot better to pack too because it's so sparkly um, with all the glitter in it, like it'll break up sometimes when you try to pull it. So I would definitely pack this one too. And I, I stopped to switch to the whole nail because I'm feeling like that um, jaunty color might not have been all the way dry. So, I was going to do, I'm doing the pinky in the whole uh, color of vamp. And y'all, I'm telling you, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here again. I just had an idea what I wanted to do, um, but not the exact layout. So, decided that one was going to be solid. Boop, it's solid. Boom. <laughs> and you see like I said with this one it's better to pack for this than to to pull it and y'all recording while well, trying to do this acrylic this is my first time recording doing acrylic and on your on myself and it's difficult, y'all. <laughs> I'm missing spots and stuff. Trying to get the pinky angle. Oh, it, it was um, an adventure. I'll say that to record. So I'm hoping y'all like what I'm bringing it to y'all because this was not easy. <laughs> but it's just something to get used to like anything else. You know what I'm saying? Once I do it more, I get used to doing it in this angle. So that just means I'm going to have to make more videos and hit the camera again. <laughs> yeah, this pinky was... Oh. We're going to get her done. And it's really bad, y'all, to put monomer on your skin. So, you know, do what I say, not what I do. Because <laughs> you can actually end up having a skin allergy if you have monomer touch your skin too much. And you don't want that because you have to stop using the product for a while. 
which for me would be like a slow death, okay? So, don't, don't do that. But uh, here we're getting back to the other nail, and I'm going to try to ombre it into the vamp. I mean, ombre the vamp into the jaunty color. And like I said, when you pull this, it kind of breaks up. But that kind of helped with the look, I guess, a little bit. So I wasn't too mad at it. I am just obsessed with this color combination, y'all. I am. I just love this purple with this jaunty color. I mean, y'all got to feel me. Add it up as far as we want it to go, and I think we are about there. I think it's about good because you know, when you think it's about good, and then you're like, Well, let me do a little bit more, and then you do that a little bit more, and you're like, Ugh, No, that messed it up. So, I'm trying to tell myself, Win is win, so stop it. <laughs> Thumb, and I decide the thumb is going to be the solid vamp color too. And see what I'm talking about with filming here? I'm looking at this and I'm yelling at myself like, girl, you are missing like a side of the nail. <laughs> but I, I notice it after a second. And feel that bad boy in.
we got them all laid down. And now we get to encapsulate. I'm using the Young Nails Be Clear to encapsulate these. And I'm just gonna show you one because the process is the same for all the nails. And I do the same process. I'll start in the middle and then work my way out and then come back and do the cuticle area. But then I'll come back and add a little more in the middle to build up that apex. And if you don't know what the apex is, it is the area of your nail that is really weak and um, it might break. It's the area between your nail and where your nail and your tip kind of meet. So it's the weakest structure point in your nail. So you want to make sure that you build up a little arch there for more strength. So we're going to work that to work with our cuticle bead. good enough so I didn't do another bead so then I went and filed and this is the result after filing it took forever but now y'all we kind of my favorite part with my not polished glossy top coat look at that it's nail porn time y'all gorgeous and look at all those facets that come out in that color. Boom. There goes that sparkle, baby. Yes. Give it to me, nails. Give me that sparkle, y'all. I can't. I can't even mess with this part, y'all. Oh, that turned out better than I thought it would. Yes. So we got ourselves all sparkly and done and sealed in. Yes. Now, we're gonna work on our little kawaii charms. I just got these and I had to get some purple ones. So, I had to decide which ones I'm using. I knew I wanted to use that bow. And because these charms are so big, um, I didn't use glue for it. I actually used hard gel to put it down with. And that little purple lamp, that's my flash cure lamp. So I don't have to use my hands. It's the best thing I ever bought on Amazon, y'all. So I use that to flash cure the bow in place. And I think that's super cute. And then we're gonna do this flower here. We got flower, we got popsicle. Yes, 
that works. Mm -hmm. And you notice I'm like curing from the side because it's not going to get through that charm. So I'm doing it from the side to make sure I get a little cure on there before I put it completely under the light. And that skull baby, I'm just like, I know it's not purple, but that skull baby was calling my name and it had to go right there. I was trying to sound a couple, but I ended up with ice cream because I had popsicle on there and I thought that'd be cute. And I had got some glue down here. So I had to get that off. And my ice cream fell off. <laughs> y'all, I'm clumsy, y'all. five-in-one top coat um, to hold down the blade. We're just cropping it down in this way spaces. Get out of there. Yes. Curing it. I put bling on this one, but I think now that I look back at the finished pictures, I was thinking like, mm, maybe not, but I did it. So maybe y'all tell me if y'all liked it with the bling on that one too. Like, I don't know how the crystals kind of play over the dark purple, but I was feeling it at the time. And then I looked at the picture later, and I'm like, eh. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a uh, banger. I love this set, but they just don't add anything to me. But you, y'all tell me. So, there we go. We got our cuticle oil to help those cuticles out from all their abuse. Rubbing them bad boys in. And look at that, guys. Super, super cute. Really, really nice. And here we are going to have the finished product. She's stunting, y'all. Yes, she is. We got that cute kawaii purple nail. And I'm feeling it. So I want to say thank you all for watching my video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, kindness is key. Be who you be and dream big. Bye-bye.